question three. So start off by including all the various forces uh, in your diagram. So we've got the normal reaction going upwards, the weight going downwards, the friction going in the opposite direction to the uh, potential movement, and we've got this uh, diagonal force here, which we can break down into its vertical and horizontal components. So um, our goal is to uh, find the mass of the box. So um, uh, our goal is going to be to end up being able to resolve um, horizontally. But in order to be able to do this, we need to be able to work out the friction. And a component of the friction is the normal reaction. So we have to kick off by resolving vertically. So we've got um, so our our force upwards, R, is equal to two bits. It's equal to the weight, which is mg, and this, this component of this force. So this component downwards is 100 sin 30. It's opposite the 30. So just so we're clear, these two forces downwards are equaling this blue force upwards. So that allows us to work out that R equals this. Now, resolving horizontally, we've got going left to right, we've got the pink force, we've got this element of the uh, 100 newtons, so that's 100 cos 30, that's adjacent, and against this going in this direction is our friction. Uh, for our friction is the coefficient of friction, which we're given as a half times the normal reaction that we've just worked out. So that is a half times R, R being this up here. So our only unknown now is m, because of course g is, um, is the gravita gravity, 9.8. So um, we can now uh, rearrange and solve for m, giving us 12.6 kilograms.